Last game of the round. Oh, we're there. Here we go. Come on, last one. West Coast Eagles versus Gold Coast Suns on a Sunday afternoon at Optus Stadium. A few new faces here as well for the Eagles. You're looking at Witherden down the back and Langdon up forward. And for the Suns, you'll be looking at Oleg Markov, big Eshe Sisson. My boy. I like that. Yeah, running off the half back. Uh, you've got Atkins as well. Uh, again, do, do you just feel like he'd be in, right in that culture as well? He's got the mo for it. He's got, he's got the mo for it. Yep. And um, Townsend as well, possibly there or thereabouts to play a bit of a sort of a small to medium-sized forward role. So interesting. Um, now, Eagles, fellas, I don't know how closely you followed them in this preseason. I thought they were a bit lacklustre for mine in the two games they played against Frio, just compared to their usual lofty heights. And we thought after the hub, coming back to Perth, that's where we sat, fine, you know, get the mojo back. Mm -hmm. Haven't really seen that spark. Maybe they were just coasting through and they don't want to get, you know, injured, don't want to get into it too much before the season starts. And you can understand that because they're always a premiership contender. But yeah. still, Tim Kelly interrupted preseason. Shuey interrupted preseason. Two of your big main midfield movers. Yep, yo out. Yo, yo out, yeah. do you know what I mean? Willie so, Rioli still out. Yeah, mm -hmm. Big rip. Ouch. Big rip. I love Willie. Well, what's who doesn't? Duggan, Duggan moving into the midfield now. Interesting to keep an eye on. Uh, for the Suns, it's a tough ask here. Optus Stadium, first first round up, cheapest creepers. But if we know the Suns, every single year they do this. They turn it on for one month and they, they destroy all before them. And they put the cue in the rack and say, well, it's April, boys. See you next preseason. <sighs> Look, if, the, if years were done at the end of round four, Suns would be perennial champions, yeah. an unstoppable force. Yeah. I'm going to have to cut in, though, because last year they did fight majority. Like, they, they weren't getting thumped. In the, in, like, they lost a fair chunk of games at the end of the year. Mm. But they weren't, they weren't getting smashed. They mm -hmm. weren't getting smashed by these teams. Like, mm -hmm. I remember a lot of, oh, just from memory, I remember a lot of eight, to kind of 12 point losses that kind of just over a goal like it was close like they were always in it yep. and so I know they still lost and that's all that matters like mm. especially when we're punting but yep. like they now they, they showed thought, a bit yeah. of fire last year so and they, I think that's going to translate are they year. now where Brisbane was 2017 just a lot of losses but all like little ones they're, I can, they're, they're getting there and yeah, I hope they're, so they're absolutely I really hope there. so like my, yeah. my heart says yes but Rally Towley's back I like that don't forget to bring around. <laughs> I love Look, it. I I, uh, I really don't know what to make of the Eagles. I actually yeah. have got no idea. Like, there's not really a lot of excitement there. Their list is getting on a little bit. There's not really a lot of kids that I look at and I'm like, oh, yeah, this guy's got a bit of shit about him. Well, like, they traded their future away for Tim Kelly. Yeah. J Josh Kennedy, yeah. another interrupted preseason. He's declared yeah. himself fit, but that means nothing to me. Um, You know, I think... I've got on my notes here. I actually think Oscar Allen is going to be their leading goal kicker this year. I was, yeah. Um, a little bit of a curvy one, but I think that Darling's never really morphed into that that one A forward. Oscar Allen looks like he's going to be a really good player. Um, and I'm getting really sick of all the chat about Matt Rowe. Not because I don't like Matt Rowe, because I love him. Let him play. Redheads, you yeah. know, unite. He's ninth favorite for the Brownlow at the moment mm. on sports bet. Ninth. He's played four games. Yeah, Come this, on. Yeah, but this league loves a narrative. He man. is the you know Zion I mean? slash Lamelo of the AFL. But it's ridiculous. Like, he's a 19-year-old kid. Just let him play some footy. Like, not, it's just, yeah. Jared Witts has already been up in arms yeah, and about it. Good on him. That's, that's what you want from yeah, your captain. Absolutely. Because But basically, after every game, I don't know if you heard, Des, the media have to request certain players. They only ever really want to talk to Matt Rowe. That's mm. it. They don't want to talk to any of the other Suns players. It's just just Matt Rowe. I want to see interviews with Oleg Markov, right, wearing a black Nike cap, black like zip up jacket to the neck, the bum bag just across the shoulder. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, he would. Oh, I'd love talk that. to anyone. Talk to Ben Ainsworth. Talk yeah. to Darcy McPherson. Yeah. Or, there's you know there's a lot of yeah. other guys on the field. Connor I, I, Buderick. Yep. I love, I love Matt Rowe, but let's just wind it back a little yeah, bit. The Suns let, are let, a bigger team than one man. Absolutely. I'm tipping Suns though. <laughs> in Perth, what yeah. are you doing? Yep, I'm, tip, you... I'm tipping the Suns 139. I, I agree totally with the whole West Coast thing. I don't think West Coast are spectacular. I don't. I like. I don't see them as a premiership contender at all. I could honestly see them like that. Ordinarily, would have been a call in itself, but I'm you know, still reeling over here. I'm. I was. Why sitting, they beat them last year at what? the beginning of the season? Though what? I was sitting, and you know it's tough when I'm looking at top six and middle six, mm. and I've got. Like West Coast, do I put West Coast in the top six? Do I put a middle six? And when I put them in the middle six, you put them in that middle six, they might sl imagine if they don't make the eight this year. I think they will purely from the Perth games. Yep. But like, 
I'm, I'm right, I'm right hot on the Suns this year. Their, their defense was surprisingly stout last year, and I think it's going to get better again. Um, if you don't like that, though, my best bet is Gold Coast at the line, which is currently set at twenty seven and a half mm. and a dollar ninety. So if you want to give them a little bit of leeway, interesting. But they won't need bad. it. They won't need it. I think I've got Eagles one to thirty nine. I think it's going to be closer Idiot. than people think, but I think they're going to get up. I'm with you on that. I have to go with home ground advantage here and yeah. and experience and experience at playing that field. So West Coast one to thirty nine. In terms of a multi, I'm looking at Duggan twenty plus if he's playing in the midfield. I'm looking at Rail twenty plus. He's back. Gaff thirty plus. I know that's. I don't normally tip the thirty plus, but it's Gaff. Do you know what I mean? It, it, he's good for it. You know he's good for it. And Lockie Weller starting in forward pocket. I'm like liking that. him. I'm liking him for a goal. Weller's good. Throw them together. Four legs. Seven dollars forty. See what you want to do with that one. Put money on it is what I want to yeah. do on that one. Yes, indeed Some you do. Ones. Now, speaking of putting money on it, last year, boys, we had a great man uh, as part of this show. It was Safety Steve with his safety bet. Uh, I'm hearing whispers, though, that uh, we might be having a new sponsor on board at some point Oh, for is. the safety bet. So uh, I have a safety bet from Safety Steve, but in terms of an actual uh, an actual sponsor, we might have to wait and see. But this oh. week's Safety Steve safety bet is interesting. Interesting. He's saying 500 big ones on Tim Taranto, 20 touches. At a dollar twenty-two, delicious. The old double T. Interesting. The old TT. Interesting. Good luck to Steve there with his five hundred big ones, and we'll whack that on for you. And in the meantime, if you're a sponsor and you want to get on board, we're 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 tossing up a few options, but we're open. there's there's room. There's we're room open. to maneuver. I said double T. I'm still caught on this. Tim Tarano, twenty touches. That's four T's, baby. That's good energies. That's four T's. That's, That's good. Very, quad, quad T. Very milky, as they say. That's good T-T, energies. T T T T. I like that. That's good energies. It's a lock, then. It's it's look. It's four it's, T's. It's a lock. T T T T T. We need to go put this man five. to bed. We Absolutely. need to put this man to bed because he's just stirred up and he's not going to get down. Perhaps permanently. <laughs>